how would you kind of assess how, how the scrimmage went on Friday? It was kind of the first opportunity for you guys to really play kind of under the lights and more, more of a game scenario. Uh, I thought it was really competitive. Um, you know, last time we scrimmaged was really the spring, so it's nice to get back in that sort of environment and have that competition <laughs> where, you know, we're all cool off the field, but on the field, it's balls to the wall. We're all going hard as we can. Was it good to, to have officials and uh, there were kind of a few false start penalties and it was, was it good to kind of get used to, to knowing what's going to be called and, and what you guys can get away with and can't get away with? A yeah, bit? absolutely. I think that uh, the more you put yourself in a game scenario, the more you're going to adjust to like how it's going to be played. And, you know, you go hard every time, but, you know, having those officials and everything really kind of limits you to what you can and can't do and you have to find yourself within those limits and how you can play the best you can. I know you had put a lot of weight on coming into the spring. How much more did you add over the summer? What was kind of your your, your, your goal coming back here in the fall? I had about 30 pounds in the summer. Uh, I came in here pretty light. I was about 260, 259, something like that. Now I'm up to 320. So, and that was actually my goal weight. So I got to my goal weight and I'm happy where I'm sitting. That was 30 pounds just between spring game and then first day of fall camp. Yep, yeah, just lifting and eating. Just, you know, basic, simple. What, what was kind of the, the diet? What would the diet look like? What would you eat? How much did you eat per day? <laughs> um, well, I mean, uh, I eat a lot of a lot more snacks than I used to. Um, I used to eat big meals, and then our strength staff were talking about the importance of snacks and always having something in your belly. So I'm always munching on something back in my house. You know, I got snacks in the fridge. You know, I eat my meals, but they're not as big as they used to be. They're kind of smaller. You know, I take smaller plates, and then I'm always chewing on something. Is there a snack that you have to have around or have to kind of eat every day? <laughs> Not really. I mean, I'm kind of just an eat everything guy. Like, if you put something in front of me and say eat it, I'll, okay, you know what I mean? But um, I, be, I eat a lot of Uncrustables now, a lot of Uncrustable people and Jay and stuff like that. How, how does it make a difference when you're when you're out here? Do, do you feel like you're you're able to kind of endure more and maybe not as much fatigue and, and you can kind of brush off bigger defenders a little easier? Absolutely. You know, I mean, the biggest difference for me is just like, being stronger and being like bigger, you know, they can't push you around as much. Because you know, when I came in here, you know, I was getting tossed around everywhere, just a light little skinny kid, you know. And now, now that I'm bigger, you know, I got something else to bring to the table. Seems like Gardner's kind of stepping up at quarterback. What are your thoughts on him and the quarterback race? Well, Gardner, Gardner's got a lot of experience. I don't remember exactly where he came from. I think it was East Carolina. Yeah, okay, East Carolina. But, um, you know, he's obviously, you know, been in situations like this, playing in stadiums in front of thousands of people. And, you know, he has that experience. He's cool, he's calm, he's collected. He, uh, gives us energy when we're down and stuff like that, and I like protecting him.